Hello and welcome once again to Kitchen Corrections. Um, guys, uh, uh, you're, you're actually supposed to do is... Uh, uh, actually, uh, that's not how you were uh, supposed to do it. It's a segment in which I go after prominent YouTube chefs and correct any little oopsies they might have made. So, who messed up big time? Besides me? Well, it's none other than Mr. King of Random himself, Grant Thompson. And, uh, uh, no, that's Nate. Does that look like a king to you? Ah, okay, that's more like it. We're going to be correcting his gummy recipe today, and shut up! Now, as far as the ingredients are concerned, nothing's wrong. However, it's the method that he went about making these that needs some serious correction. What did he get wrong? We'll get to that in a second. But first, Let's construct the syrup. Grab half a cup of cold water, then add to that a quarter cup of light corn syrup. Give it a good mix. Then in a small saucepan, add one six ounce package of Jello, followed by two packets of unflavored gelatin. Add the liquids into the dries. Whisk it together. And it is here where we come across our first problem. Now if you see little lumps, clumps, or bubbles floating to the top, it's probably because you didn't start with cold water. Or you heated up the mixture too fast for the gelatin to fully separate. About those clumpy bits. You're actually supposed to let the gelatin bloom. So once you mix your syrup together, just leave it alone for 10 minutes and let the gelatin soak up as much liquid as it possibly can. Okay, our gelatin has fully bloomed. Now you put it on your stove and heat it up over medium heat. Heat this up, continue to stir until everything's more or less dissolved. I arrived at my second complaint with Grant Thompson's gummy video. And to make the next steps as easy as possible, I'm collecting the magical syrup in a condiment container. Look, mommy, second degree burns. Now, instead of melting a perfectly good squeeze bottle with the molten syrup, do this instead. Grab yourself a candy funnel. It's designed in a way to make sure your hand does not touch the hot syrup. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Once everything's dissolved, carefully move our syrup into the funnel and gently drizzle in our syrup. This stuff comes out faster than you think, so practice a lot of restraint and caution. Let that cool down for four to six hours. It's been a few hours, our gummies have cooled, and I come to my final gripe about Grant Thompson's gummy video. You see, if you were to just demold these, you'll notice that these gummies leave a bit of sticky residue on your fingers. And that's not what's supposed to happen when you buy store-bought gummies. But thankfully, I found a way. Now, to give our gummies a non-sticky coating, in a separate medium bowl, add about a cup of cornstarch. Then demold our gummies into it. Okay, once they're all demolded, give everything a nice toss. Okay, when everything is nice and coated, grab a second bowl and place in a sifter. And dump our cornstarch and gummy mixture in here. Give everything a nice sift. All right, every last bit of excess cornstarch came off. Dump our coated gummies into a separate clean bowl. Throw in one teaspoon of vegetable oil. Give everything a good toss. Take some paper towel and mop up every last piece of excess oil. And voila, you can now enjoy your gummies without having to worry about the sticky residue. And just like that, you can enjoy Grant's Jello gummies without getting sticky residue all over your fingers burning your hand on hot syrup, or having to deal with a clumpy syrup mixture. Now this is far from Grant Thompson's biggest oopsies. 
teaching kids how to create explosives from store-bought materials, however. This has been Jay's Cut in the Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning at this time. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every um, Thursday. Oh, uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I live in California. We're in the middle of a drought, okay?